Welcome, everyone. It is Christmas Day 2022, and we're about to go into our uh, general Q&A session of our weekly Morgellons call, so stay tuned. Hey, Robin. Okay, I'm Richard Kunes, author of How to Get Your Life Back from Morgellons, Chronic Lyme, and Other Skin Parasites. And uh, let me go through the, uh, since we might get technical, the AMA and FDA require me to tell everyone that uh, before you start the King Diet, accept any of our recommendations. You just thoroughly discuss them with the, your doctor to make sure they do not interfere with any health problems you presently have. And again, uh, to remind you that none of us are uh, licensed by the American Medical Association, so therefore we do not diagnose, treat, cure, or mitigate any disease. And what we can do is educate you how to use the King Diet for your benefit and advantage, or call it an eating plan. Uh, you know, diet seems restrictive. Uh, this is giving your life back, so call it an eating plan. And we can uh, uh, educate you how to clean them out of your environment and your skin and how to build health and immune functioning of, with our various targeted supplements. Okay, we have any questions, Chris, anyone? Yes, Anna. Hi, Anna. Yes. Hi, thank you as always for providing this call, especially during the holidays. From my heart, I am grateful. Yeah, I have a question. Um, I'm in Georgia, and the weather has been really extreme like it has been for most of us um, currently. And I have my uh, front window open because, um, you know, when I turn on the heat, um, the, one of the main concerns here is, you know, my HVAC. The question I have is, um, of course, I was freezing with the window wide open, um, but is there a, um, a heater? I know many folks have, you know, heaters where they don't even have to turn their heater air conditioning on. Does anybody on the call know about uh, a safe heater that I could um, use, um, you know, instead of turning my heat on? Um, that's one question. And the other question I have is I have the Morgellons cocktail, and I also have uh, oregano extra strength tincture, um, and I I guess my question is with oregano, um, do you know if that is as strong as the clary sage? Do you, does anybody know about that? Well, the clary sage and the oregano that we have are straight. So there's nothing diluted. There's nothing added. They are 100% essential organic oils. Uh, mm -hmm. Other oils that you get at other sources, you're going to want to read the ingredients to see if it's really 100% and not a mixture of uh, other oils and and uh, they they use carry oils is what the term is uh, oftentimes so you, you just definitely want to look at that now as far as a heater goes you know I I don't know uh, years ago they used to have the, the longy heaters that uh, were like uh, uh, radiators uh, more recently they have the ceramic heaters uh, Robin you have any experience you have a Kind of like an Airbnb there, and um, in terms of heaters, heaters, yeah, types of heaters. I well, I, I use I a pellet stove, stove to heat to heat what? mostly. I have a pellet stove. A pellet stove, okay. So so uh, yeah, uh, but I, mean, uh, I she, heat individual r rooms with small electric heaters as needed. So what kind of electric heater do you uh, recommend or find uh, beneficial? Uh, I get them at Walmart, and they're very cost-effective, and they're the kind that they, they don't cost a lot. I mean, they don't cost a lot to use. I, I did have a um, fireplace <coughs> heater uh, made from Pennsylvania, and I loved it, and it was really cost-efficient, but it only lasted like five years, and then it died. Oh, well, five years is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but it was $150. Oh, well, yeah, I think you can buy uh, small ceramic heaters at Walmart or someplace for about 30 or 35 bucks. The ceramic uh, heaters use a lot more electricity. Do they? Yeah, I, I, yeah I, if you're going to look for uh, electric heaters, uh, I have, like, one in my bathroom, which is really cold because it doesn't get much heat, and it it's designed for a bathroom. It uh, it's really cost effective. I mean, pennies a day compared to two or three dollars a day. So, you know, you got to read and do research. What it? type of heat? What type of heater was that again? I, it's a bathroom heater. They're designed. Oh, 
to be safe in bathrooms. Okay. Well, okay. So, well, anyway, uh, Google and uh, look at reviews of, of any product and see what uh, the reviews say. That's the best way to go, I, I would think. Thank you. Okay. As far as, as, thank you. As far as brand names, uh, right now, um, you don't have any brand names. We have no idea. I do. This is Mary. I just I just had to go buy space heaters because I knew my pipes were going to freeze up when this weather came. I went to Walmart. They have a Polonis ceramic heater. Oh yeah, those um, are good. For, those are good. Yeah, fifty dollars. I I bought one for fifty dollars. It's an absolute monster. It it it's been <clears> so hot that I haven't even put it on high yet. It's low, medium, and high, and I've had it on medium, and I had it back the heater away from me. The cat loves it. <laughs> right, I have one of those. It's lasted eight. Cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> How do you spell that? Thank you so much. How do you spell that? Uh, I'd appreciate. It. He is in Paul. E L O N is in Nancy. I S. Okay, and that's the brand name of the heater from Walmart. Yep, right. and they, they have Great. they have several different prices, um, but the the one I got was for fifty, and it's. <laughs> It stands up on its own, and it has, like, three uh, tubes that go across it. And when you have it on low, one tube heats up. If you have it on medium, two tubes heat up. And then on high, all three tubes heat up, and it, it's a monster. I mean, I am thrilled with it. Really? And it, is the cord real long? I appreciate this. Thank you so much, man. Uh, is the cord real long? I no, but you know what? Most heaters don't have really long cords. I don't mm-hmm. know why. So you, yeah, you, so you, can put, you can put that in the bathroom too. Do you think? That yeah, you don't. Problem? You don't want to run heaters with extension cords if you, if at all possible. Okay, so go to Walmart. Certified heater in a bathroom. Go, go to Walmart and smaller, check it out. Smaller one, a smaller Polonis in my bedroom, and uh, <clears> it's. It was like a $35 heater, and it's wonderful, and I just use it to warm up the room, and then I turn it off. Oh, okay. okay. That's a good idea. I'm very grateful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. The okay. Let's, okay. Let's, thank you. I, I have to check it out. Let's, I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Who's next, Chris? Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Merry Christmas. You're on. <clears throat> Merry Christmas to you, too. First of all, Richard, I want to thank you for the talk that you did on positive affirmation and negative and positive energy. That really moved me to, as a tool, to go on to the next sphere. I really needed to hear that. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. And second of all, I'm just starting this, and I want to buy from the store. I have problems with my scalps, and... I feel like I'm itching from head to toe, and I need to know what I need to order. You're brand new? Yes. Okay. Uh, have, uh, send in a request to me. Return any email and request a questionnaire, and I will be glad to provide you kind of a, an assessment, not a diagnosis, but an assessment. In other words, based on what I've learned. For instance, if you have filaments or fibers, I'll say that's most likely – Morgellons disease based on the information in Dr. Saverly's book. So I'm only going to bring in information that you can find anywhere and tell you basically what you're dealing with, whether it's mites or whether it's uh, columbula, uh, springtails, or uh, something else, maybe even ster- uh, Strongyloides sericalis. So uh, I'll send you the questionnaire. You can complete it, and then I'll give you also detailed recommendations as to Uh, what products and uh, substances that you can use to deal with it. I'll tell you what types of disinfectants you might want or need to use. Most part, uh, simple ammonia that you buy at the uh, grocery store is all that you need. Uh, And I'll I'll go into different uh, medications that are available and where you can get them uh, to deal with what uh, you most likely are dealing with. So please send that, and I'll be glad to get you the questionnaire. Okay, and I'm also very, very thankful for finding you guys. You guys are an awesome group and just totally made my, my light shine when I heard about there's a, a group talk in a store and anything and everything I've been reading about your your statements on, on email. 
has really helped a lot. That just really opened my a nice big bright light in my eyes. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so <laughs> glad you're. Other people are dealing with it. And I'm I, so I glad. Do know, I know a lot of people out there that are dealing with this. So how do I get them involved? Uh, well, that's great. Uh, tune, uh, you know, hang around. Uh, you, if you're good at uh, on social media or if you have contact, well, you can have them listen to any of our videos. Uh, you can have them enroll. I'll give you. Uh, you probably enrolled from a page. You know, the, the, the amazing thing, the, the thing that's amazing, is that you're not going to find any page out there by me that goes through. Two hours of video or a long chain uh, email that finally says, "Yeah, this is all worth a thousand dollars." But tell you what, it, you know, you don't even have to pay five hundred. You don't even have to pay two hundred. You're not going to find that. You know, as soon as you give me your email and your first name, you're in the program. It's free. That's the right. books are free. The information is free. This is free. Where in the hell can you get that? Yep. Okay. So that that's it. it. It's I think it's mind boggling. People don't realize that they just think they signed up for something and I'm I'm you know, there's a damn diet, you know, who wants to do a damn diet, you know, and yeah. and they get into this kind of thinking and they don't realize they're in they're in the money. Yep. That's right. I agree. Well I'm excited, so I'm excited Ready to start to. in on the diet and start on your products as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Keep coming back. We're here to support you, and all we have to give uh, people is that. And uh, there, we also have a, uh, we recently set up an affiliate program where uh, your efforts in getting other people involved, you can get uh, financially rewarded. Hey, look, we have been for a few years spending over $500 every three to four days with Google AdWords. And I'd much rather, instead of paying Google AdWords, I'd rather have you working in an affiliate program so that you know the program, you did the program, you know my heart, you know Robin's heart, you know Mary's heart, you know Chris's heart. We're here every Sunday. We support people. You hear people testify as to how it works. So I'd rather have you spread the word and get commissions for it. So, okay, who's next, Chris? Back again, yes. Um, <laughs> hi, so as I said before, I am dealing with trying to clean up the station. Um, it has been horrendous. Um, have, you, have, you looked into, have you looked into getting a small washer and dryer and just keeping them and staying out of that space because it seems like a... Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I would, based on what you've shared in, in the past, I would, number one, look into one of those small washers and dryers that you can have in your space. Mm -hmm. Number two, start planning on finding another place that you can move. It might take three yeah. months. It might take a year. But uh, make that happen because you cannot control that environment. It's, it's so sad. <laughs> Makes yeah. me so sad. I love my you know what I mean? It, and it's like, I'm super clean, everything's super clean. Like, I, you know, I, the girl, our, our washing machine is not the problem, it's the dryer. Like, because I can get the washing machine completely clean, and then after I wash it, and even if I do filthy, dirty rags that I just use to, to wash the stairs, it well, still... You know, uh, years ago, years ago, and, and she still uh, is with us, uh, and, and uh, buys from the store routinely, uh, and she gave a testimony about maybe two years ago. Uh, I don't know if yeah. it was on video at that point. Her name was Carolyn, and she works at a hospital in uh, in the Northeast, and she got her life back, and she introduced me to a doctor up there that for a long time uh, worked, we worked with him uh, because he wrote prescriptions for us, uh, uh, for for our people, for ORAP or for uh, uh, Pen and, and, and medications that are listed in Chapter 6. And she worked at the hospital and was really happy. And, you know, 
I have to tell everybody here and be upfront, this is not a cure. We do not have, I mean, people go on this diet and they feel like they're cured, but they're, you're not, you know. I felt that way, but it took me, I discovered even after 90 days of being stage one, if I abuse this diet dramatically, it's not a cure. The symptoms come back. So recently, she had gotten recontaminated. There is another person that works that is contaminated, that has the organisms, and refuses to acknowledge it or do anything about it. And this lady recontaminated Carolyn. And according to Carolyn, there are many patients that are getting contaminated with these organisms in a hospital. Oh, my God. So the key is, man, if you're around these people, you need to get away from them. Uh, you know, I, I have no idea. It's what... not, like, it, like it's everywhere, you know. So especially, in, you know, I'm in the Northeast too. So it, it's, yeah, I go to stores and I can see it, and it's like, is it? But it's, it's not. Crazy. It's not like the heavy load that you're getting with this right. person oh, no, who is no, infected. No. See, it's the load. Uh, you know, they can be in the stores, they can be outside, but if it's yeah. not a heavy load like you're having with a contaminated person, uh, then, uh, you know, the diet, the, the, the pheromones, the parasite stop formula. By the way, if you go to the store, it says that the parasite stop formula is out of stock, but it yeah, is in. Yeah, I have that. I, I take that every day. I love it. Yeah, so uh, you, you can live, but, you, you know, you have to figure out whether it's important for you to move or whether you can fix your environment. If you can't have yeah, the control like, of so fixing I'm the environment. The so I'm on the third floor, and um, and I'm thinking about getting the um, washer and dryer. Now, what I was – my question, I guess, is um, that there there's a, a bunch of different options. I'm not looking for a brand name or anything, but are the ones that are, like, the cheap ones on Amazon that are, like, 100 to 200 Oh, I, I don't know. You you might even find one on Craigslist. Uh, and I have no idea about the quality. Again, you have to read but, like, the reviews. Affordable, are they the ones, like, like you know, the ones that, that – they're like meant for like dorms and apartments that are like yeah yeah they're, they're stackable there's one stacked on the other on wheels so you can you can yeah. roll it uh, uh into a closet uh for storage and then roll it out when you need it because i i mean if like i find that if i'm doing the protocols in the in in the book and stuff like i can i can kill them but like in the dryer, like so, there's like literally stuff that is like flying out of the dryer. It's like it's. it's well, so... you're you're working at you're working where there's a contaminated dryer. So every time you go in that space, you need to use the electrostatic sprayer to spray everything and spray the dryer, and then go through the whole rigmarole of the laundry. Mm -hmm. That if you had your own uh, laundromat, you wouldn't have to do. No, but the problem is, too, is that, like, I'm on the third floor, so everything up, you know, it's, like, the stairs and everything, so I've been working clean everything off, and, like, today, she, like, tried dog poop into the house, like, and just left yeah. it. Yeah, well, there. okay, so your challenge so is, one, I'm move, move, and secondly, uh, get get the washer and dryer so that you control your environment more effectively. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mary, you have one or two to read there? Yes. Um, I was, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I was going to start with the text message I got from Andrea. Okay. And and that one is that uh, I got this the other day, and, and, and the part of this that I didn't tell you is that I was sitting here honestly feeling sorry for myself um, because I, I've lost so much over the last few years, and I was really kind of questioning my purpose in life. And um, this text message came through out of nowhere from Andrea. And she said, I would like to thank you for the information regarding the pheromones. It helped me to fix re the reinfection on my eyelid. Wishing you happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And, and I started crying because, you know, that was kind of like my answer to what my purpose is at this point. And you contribute. Incredible. Yep. We contribute. Yeah. And it's wonderful to be acknowledged. 
Yes, it is. And, and, and if it weren't for you, the Farinones wouldn't be in the store. <laughs> and and to know that I was able to help somebody else or, ha- or or to make a difference in somebody else's life, that 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 was so wonderful. It's what keeps Robin and I going. Yeah. You no. Know, the testimonials have, you know, we're not here to sell a damn thing. You know, we're here to get you well and provide you the information to get your life back and provide top quality products in the store that, hey, you can go to Amazon. You can go to, uh, you know, Sears, no, not Sears, but boy, I'm dating myself. <laughs> but we we ask you as we as we as I support you and we support you. Please support our store. Get instead of buying our laundry soap, buy our toothpaste. Buy we just came out with dishwasher liquid. Buy these things from us out of gratitude for what we contribute. You need them anyway. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, what's the next one you have to read? The next one is um, the lady that sent you the email that says, is this okay to take? And she sent you a screenshot of a bottle, and the ingredients say concentrated seawater from Utah's inland sea. That's nice. USA, approved okay. for use as an organic food additive and processing additive, no known allergies, gluten-free. And what are the ingredients that are listed? That was it. Uh, concentrated seawater from Utah's Inland Sea, USA, approved for use as an organic food additive. And yeah, processing. but I, I thought there I thought there were some ingredients there that are listed. That's what it says for ingredients. Oh. Okay. Well, oh, I. Yeah, I, I wrote back and because I wonder why the hell does she want to take this or he, I, I, you know, and a person wrote back and said, uh, it's boron. Well, if you read down there, it'd be greedy. It's, it does say boron, one milligram. And I'm thinking, why? You know, there's chloride. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it says magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, sulfate, lithium, and boron. Yeah, there you know, there's nothing wrong with those things, but why do you want to take it? Uh, you know, as far as minerals, uh, we have more better minerals than than that. Uh, and she wrote back, she wants for the boron. Well, we have two two formulas in the store that provide three milligrams of boron per because you you could need maybe up to thirty milligrams a day. So can you imagine how much of the stuff you have to drink to get 30 milligrams when uh, when one serving is one milligram? So please look in the store. We have uh, tablets that are three milligrams. You can take up to 10 a day, spread them out, and then you can switch over to the 30 milligram uh, tablets that they have at shopformergallons.com. Okay, uh, anyone else? If not, you have another one, right? Yes, I do. Um, hang on just a second as I get to it. Uh, the other one is a series of emails. Um, the first one is from Leah, and it says, please let me know if castor oil should not be used topically. Okay, any oil can be used topically. Uh, castor oil is not one that we recommend consuming because it can activate the parasites, but it doesn't matter uh, what you apply to your skin as far as I know. Uh, okay, so next. Okay, the next one is from Marla, and she says, again, I feel extremely blessed for your help, support, and guidance. I am tru- I'm blessed because you are truly a hero, my hero, by providing an abundance of information and guidance. Without you, I sincerely wouldn't know at all what to do. I desperately want and need to get your program into place. As many which I read about, I'm experiencing a difficult time obtaining a doctor. After searching and searching, I did find one, and I was told I can make an appointment. However, I've been waiting for the first dermatologist I met with to send a referral to the new one for over, five, for over a week. I have called five times expressing I am in deep need to get a new doctor. I haven't mentioned the words Morgellons disease. And you yet. don't never want to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and yet still they're giving me poor excuses. I'm 
going in person today to obtain one. Thank you for hearing me. I've been in tears, angry, depressed, and overwhelmed on a daily basis. I'm doing my best to remain calm as I can. I think I'm feeling the need to touch base with you. I feel less fear and more motivated to give my 100% effort to get this job done. I do feel the need for a coach to assist me with my efforts. For some reason, I can't find any information as to how to obtain the right coach for myself. Can you please let me know where I can go to find a coach? Thank you so much for your time and patience with me. Wishing you a very happy holidays. I hope you and your family enjoy all the festivities. It's hard to be into these festivities when you have this going on and you have itching and biting 24-7 and you have to wait uh, three months or so for an appointment with the dermatologist. There's more than likely, 90, I'd say 90% likely to diagnose you as being delusional and being disappointed. It's it's really hard to be into the gaiety and festivities of Christmas and New Year's when one is in this space. I understand that. And the key here is go ahead, make your appointment with your doctor. Do that and start the diet today. You don't have to have a doctor's note to start the diet. Uh, Suggesting, you know, the FDA says you should talk to your doctor before you start the diet, but that's up to you. If you want to go ahead and start it, that's your your prerogative. You're right. If you want to talk to your doctor, go ahead and wait three months and then talk to him about it. Okay. Uh, who's next? <clears throat> what? Well, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, n- next is a lady who writes that um, I just started your book and I am less than a chapter in and learned more than I have in five years of frantic and obsessive research and suffering. Every single time I think I have this bug pegged, it shapeshifts on me. Wow. That was my experience, and I'm sure as many other people's experience, when I was first infected, you know, I'd try this uh, from the drugstore. And, wow, it worked for three or four days. <laughs> then all hell broke loose again. I went through that several times with stuff from the drugstore. And then I got serious and started appointments with doctors. And the same thing. They'd give me a sulfur drug, and that would work for three or four days, and then it wouldn't work anymore. That's the monster of the beast. And that makes having alcoholism or drug addiction a hell of a lot easier to deal with than these things that keep seemingly shape-shifting. Uh, She goes on to say, the only thing I have found is the diatomaceous earth, but my case is far too advanced for just that or just any med or whatever. I've been taking albenzadol so long my kidneys are in failure. Yes, this is what I referenced earlier. Uh, Albenzadol is for intestinal parasites, for warming, all right? And it's probably in a high dose. She didn't notice or mention what the dosage is, she's probably perhaps taking the warming dose, which could be dangerous, like taking too much ivermectin. Uh, you know, whether you're using one or the other, you know, it's not going to make a difference with more gallons because it depends on the cofactor. If you guess that you have intestinal parasite and are taking albendazole or ivermectin, it's not going to benefit you if that's not the cofactor that's the problem. It could be a fungal issue. So if you go to our blog post uh, in the website, bestmorgallonscure.com, there's a blog. And if you go back to Mother's Day of this year, you'll find an update, a blog post about cofactors. And there are probably 25 cofactors identified there, such as Strongyloides sericalis. That could be a cofactor. And if it's not addressed, well, forget getting rid of more gallons. If it's a fungal issue or rosebush disease, well, that's a fungal issue. And forget dealing with more gallons until it's dealt with. So you need to focus and find the cofactor and that the questionnaire helps me ferret out what the cofactors might be and my protocol 
basically takes care of just about most all cofactors. Uh, people have written in, some guy wrote in and said, hey, I found the cure and I'd like to tell everybody about it. I finally got tested and I have this kind of bacteria, pseudomonosis type of thing. That's a common bacteria. <laughs> it's a, it's every, everybody's got it on your skin, you know? And when you've got more gallons, it can get out of control, sure. Well, guess what Garcillin does? A natural antibiotic, according to WebMD, and, and I mean uh, Wikipedia, uh, our Garcillin allicin is a natural antibiotic, antiviral, antiparasitic uh, medicate, not medication, but supplement. In fact, I read an article uh, that a blog post about someone who believes that uh, the, these researchers find that actually Alzheimer's disease, you know, Alzheimer's disease is something I'm concerned about, and the good news is that uh, I provide information, you know, get rid of fluoride, get rid of uh, any sources of aluminum, they are factors. Uh, there is also an indication I sent out uh, a few uh, weeks ago, nitrites that are used in curing meats. Fortunately, most of the meats that we have on our diet are not cured meats, such as ham and uh, bacon uh, that may have the nitrites in. But this uh, approach is that there is an indication that certain viral components, uh, basically uh, uh, shingles type of viruses and the uh, that may lie dormant in all of us and also uh, the herpes type of virus uh, they com combine somehow to contribute to Alzheimer's and guess what Allison does Garcillin it's a natural antibiotic antiviral so it's a it's a great approach the protocol that I have really I feel uh, is beneficial in building health and immune functioning in a broad range of diseases and illnesses. Uh, anything more to that? Yes. She says, I've gained 75 pounds and my skin looks like it was put through a wood chipper. And I was a son or two at 40 years old. I looked very easily in my late 20s. So I took that for granted until this nightmare. Just from reading your email, I knew your book would be what saved my life. I've been to countless emergency rooms with doctors, and I am so sick of my mother telling me and everyone else that I must be sick because I don't want to do anything the doctors tell me. Well, that's crap, Ma. They don't give an F, F <laughs> thing now to say. <laughs> Uh, it's maddening. Last night I had a very strange dream of drowning in a pool and someone screaming to escape to go to 5 o'clock. I found that very interesting and wanted to ask you why you named your company that. <laughs> well, uh, when she was reading this in the very beginning of the book, uh, there's a uh, musical uh, group called 5 O'Clock. And if you go to, uh, this is a person uh, who had dealt with more gallons who has a, a band and uh, she's a singer and it has nothing to do with my company it just is a, uh, a QR code there if you go there you can hear her her name is Paula and you can hear one of the songs that uh, she created about more gallons so okay um, and she says or is it your publisher I literally just read it and forgot it you already know why also, I live in a camper, and I'm very worried about the septic tank. Should I move out or replace the tank? I have so, so many questions for you. Honestly, you should have your own practice. It really seems like you've cracked the code on this horrific nightmare, and that means you deserve to be called whatever is more than a doctor in my book. Angel from above is all I got. I'm sitting here bawling and thanking God for you, knowing you've saved countless lives. It must be rewarding all by itself. Something tells me that it's all you really care about. All I can say right now is thank you. Doesn't seem to be enough, but please know I am deeply grateful for you. Well, it is interesting that uh, you can go to countless doctors and they know absolutely nothing. 
unfortunately, they don't know anything about diet other than to eat healthy, and that could be anything, you know. They don't, they have no idea how contagious this this stuff is, how you can reinfect yourself from your environment, how uh, layers deep of your skin is destroyed. Unfortunately, they know very little about it. Uh, that's 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 where it is, and I I do appreciate emails of this nature. Uh, I mean, she's new to the program. I'm hoping all of her uh, expectations come true about sticking, making the diet work, and 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 this being the answer for her, as has been for many many other people that have been in this program. I'm hoping she uh, gets the benefits of this program as many of you have, and uh, keeps coming back. Uh, so. It, thank you. Okay, uh, Mary, you have anything you'd like to add? Um, yeah, I I took Robin's suggestion on the infrared light um, for for help with the scalp and the hair growth, and I love it. Okay, so what? Uh, tell us, Robin, what that was again, so uh, people who are new may not have heard. So um, red light therapy has been proven to um, help kill parasites, uh, enhance skin uh, health, uh, immune function, and hair growth. And you can get uh, red light on Amazon. You should do research. They range from $35 to a small little one to $2,000 for a full body one. And you just uh, sit or lie under it for 20 minutes a day. And that's it. I, they're amazing. They're wonderful. All of my hair was falling out, and I had gotten one of those, and uh, I haven't had a problem since. Yes, and you'll have to watch the video to see who has more hair, me or Robin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything more you'd like to add, Robin, before we close this segment? No. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys. Thank you, Robin, for being my co-host, Mary for greeting people, and Chris for handling the technical aspects. And I want to thank and I love every one of you. Uh, keep coming back. We're here to support you in getting your lives back. Deal with the stresses of life as well. This concludes this segment of the program. <laughs>